Today, I want to show you how to rotate not only a word, but a single letter in that word as well. It's going to be awesome. So if you're ready, let's do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this grouped layer because we don't need it since I've already done it on that layer. So I'm going to grab my text tool with the letter T and we can see over here in the tool options, I have my font, which is Montserrat Bold and my size is going to be 400. I'm going to come over here, click and type out the word rotate. I'm going to hit my escape key now so I can deactivate the text tool. And the next thing I want to do is align this text in the middle of the document, but I can't do that yet because the layer boundary right now is uneven or has more or less space on each of the four sides of the text. And if I try to align it to the document as it is now, it's not going to be perfectly centered. So let's crop the layer boundary to the content by going up to layer and selecting crop the content. Now I can grab my alignment tool with the letter Q and it's not enough to have that layer selected in the layers panel. We need to tell GIMP exactly which layer needs to be aligned by clicking on the content with the alignment tool. Once you do that, you will see these squares in each corner, letting you know and GIMP know that layer needs to be aligned. All right, so we're gonna come over here to tool options under relative to, click on first item, then click on align center of target and align middle of target. All right, we now need to increase the layer boundary size because right now, if we try to rotate within it, it's going to crop the content and we're going to miss letters in our word or crop the letters in our word. So let's go back up to layer and select layer to image size. All right, we're now going to grab our alignment tool with shift plus R. And then we can rotate either with the angle slider here or by clicking and rotating with our mouse. So I'm going to rotate it to right about there should be pretty good. And then I'm going to click rotate. Now, for some reason, it's automatically adjusting the layer boundary. So I'm going to go back up to layer and select layer to image size. Next, I'm going to duplicate this layer so that I can rotate the letter separate in case I need to make adjustments to the original layer later on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this layer right here. And here's the secret to rotating an individual letter. We need to make a selection of it. So I'm gonna grab my fuzzy select tool, which is right here, or use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter U. I'm gonna rotate the letter E, so I'm gonna click right here to make a selection of it. And then we're gonna go back to our rotate tool with shift plus R and then rotate according to your creative vision. So I'm gonna make it upside down, click rotate. Now the final step for rotating our letter E is putting it on its own layer because it's not at this point. If you take a look at your layer panel right here, it's actually a floating selection. So I need to click on create a new layer to create a new layer. Now check out that video right there to your left and click on it. It's going to take you to a playlist with over 20 different text effects that you can learn how to do in GIMP. So go ahead and check it out. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.